good people at the New Westminster Animal Shelter always welcome the public. Come and visit and adopt a dog, a cat, or even a bunny. They are located at 231 UN Avenue on Queensboro Island. Call them at 604-519-2008 to arrange a visit. Hi everyone, I'm Margie. I'm here at the City of New Westminster Animal Shelter and I'm going to tell you about some adoptable pets we have. And the first one I want to tell you about is this pretty girl here, Lucy. Lucy is approximately six years old. She's spayed female and she um, came to us when her owner fell in some hard times and couldn't continue to care for her. She is a lovely, lovely girl. Very um, very low maintenance, very easy going. In the cat room, she just kind of hangs out. She's not super energetic, so she'd be, she'd be great if you're looking for a cat to just kind of hang out with you. She's very gentle, doesn't mind being picked up, likes to be pet, so I think she'd be a really good cat um, if your family had children and you were hoping for a cat that would uh, get along with them. Uh, so Lucy um, has just had a dental cleaning as well. So uh, she has got her fresh pearly whites. She's ready to go. She's ready to impress. And uh, she's really just a, a nice, easygoing cat who should fit in well with any kind of home. So if you'd like to meet Lucy uh, and, and maybe bring in the rest of your family to make sure everybody gets along, you can call us at the animal shelter here at 604 519-2008 or you can pop in anytime 10.30 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. and we're open seven days a week. So come meet Lucy and maybe you'll fall in love with her and bring her home. Thank you. My next uh, cat to introduce you to is named Clark and Clark came to us um, his previous owner um, was, had kind of inherited Clark, I guess, from a relationship breakup. Had no interest in keeping Clark. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't doing really a, a fantastic job in addressing Clark's needs. Clark had uh, eye infection in both eyes that was not treated, and he had all this, um, you know, discharge coming out of his eyes. He must have been in a lot of pain and discomfort. When we got him, we brought him to the vet, obviously, right away and got him treated on some eye drops, which he doesn't love, but he's still such a good boy when we're giving them to him. He doesn't get mad with us, he just lets us do them and then he wants more cuddles afterward. The vet said, when he looked at Clark's eyes, that he had all kinds of little lacerations on his eye um, because he had been scratching at his eyes with his paws. So if you can just imagine how uncomfortable he must have been um, it's just really not okay to forego vet treatment for our pets. They uh, can't tell us that they want to go to the doctor. Um, they can't tell us that something's hurting them. It's our responsibility to make sure we take good care of them. So now he's, he's still on his eye drops. And we're ho you can see maybe <laughs> if he stops long enough that he's a little bit squinty. Um, I think he's just still a little bit sensitive. So we will get him rechecked in about a week or so to make sure that his eyes are still healing nicely. And once we get the all clear from the veterinarian, then we will, um, Clark will be allowed to go to his new home. So Clark is about, only about two years old. He's a young male. Uh, we've had him neutered as well. He's had his vaccines and microchip and all that good stuff. And he's a really nice guy. He, um, he seems to like the other cats in the cat room and he wants to make friends with them. So I think he'd be good in a home that already has a cat. He also, I think, would be good in a home with children because he's so, he's so relaxed and, um, and easy go, uh, uh, happy go lucky. So if you'd like to meet Clark, give us a call or come on down to the animal shelter and I'm sure that you will just love him to bits. Hey, buddy. On June 25th, Bosley's New Westminster and Columbia Animal Square Hospital are hosting a Bollywood Street Party fundraiser for the New Westminster Animal Shelter. It'll be located at Queensborough Community Centre. Tickets are $30 with $25 coming right back to the Animal Shelter. There'll be live music, there'll be Indian dancing, there'll be Indian food and prizes and crafts. So if you're interested in coming, give us a call at the shelter, 604-519-2008. You can come buy tickets at the Animal Shelter or at Bosley's Columbia Square in New Westminster. You're watching The Animal Show. 
helping animals find people. All right, it's been a while since I've been able to show you an adoptable dog, but I am happy to introduce you to this big galoot. His name is Clooney. He's named after a handsome George Clooney because of his his good looks. Uh, his charm needs a little bit of work, though. He um, He's very friendly with people, but he has very little manners. So, and because of his size, that can sometimes result in... Uh, an over-exuberant greeting, uh, paws up on your chest, that kind of thing. So we are working hard with him to get him to learn that it's better if he has all four of those handsome paws on the ground um, rather than on your face or on your chest or on your back or whatever. Um, he's young. He's like maybe a year and a half. So he hasn't really grown his brain yet uh, and he's still a bit of a silly teenager. So he will definitely need a home that will dedicate themselves to helping him learn proper manners, um, uh, leash manners. He pulls very hard, and because he's so big, he is very strong. Uh, so we do actually, when we walk him, we have a special harness that helps prevent him from pulling us over, um, just for, you know, to save our own backs and, and uh, muscles. So, um, you know, other than, other than his exuberance, the only other thing that he needs some work on, I would say, is his reaction to other dogs. He, um, we think he may be, we don't know, he was found as a stray, but we think he may be part coonhound, um, possibly with Doberman or possibly with Great Dane even, given his size. Coonhounds have a really big voice and uh, Clooney lets that loose when he sees another dog. He, we think it's mostly uh, kind of anxiety uh, and excitement rather than uh, aggression, but um, it's such a strong reaction that other dogs are likely to not really appreciate it. And if Clooney was just allowed to go right up to them, probably they wouldn't react very favorably and there might be some conflict there. So people who take Clooney home need to <laughs> do some further work um, with his, his behavior around other dogs. Um, he may never really uh, be suitable for like an off-leash park. He just may be too in your face for a lot of dogs. And, and that's okay, you know, not every dog is made for an off-leash park. Um, doesn't mean that he can't have fun with his new family, uh, you know, going to the lake or going on hikes or hanging out in a really nice big backyard playing because he, he really is a lovely soul. He just, he just needs a lot of guidance. So if you think Clooney might be uh, a good fit for your family, um, we'd love to talk to you more about him on the phone. Um, so our number is 604-519-2008. And we can chat with you about your specific situation at home, your environment, any pets you may have, and whether we think that would be a good fit. And we can set up a meeting for you to come down, check out Clooney and all his goofiness, and, um, and really get to know him. We probably think he wouldn't be great with little animals and or little children because of his size and, and exuberance and his ability to inadvertently knock somebody over. It just might be a little much for little children. Uh, so other... Other than that, I think we're pretty open to a lot of different um, types of people to come and meet him. Uh, so, again, give us a call, 604-519-2008, or come on down and, and meet him 10.30 a.m. until 3.30 p.m., seven days a week. Thank you. Bring it right to the camera. Oh, yeah, nice one. Okay, ready? You drop it? Good boy. <laughs>